Hello, Perfect. friends. Okay, so I'm waiting for this little thing to pop up so I can share this. I'm going to share it to my personal page, which is called Rhea Coleman. So make sure that you are following me on there. And then I'm going to post my shopping link right here in the comments. So Rhea, hope, beauty, all right, I'm going to pin this here. So everything you're about to see is going to be available right there. Um, so we're going to do the spray foundation for today, which is amazing, flawless, full coverage, super duper easy to use, and it's on sale in this month's kudos. So if you have yet to grab it, I highly encourage you do so ASAP. Since the shades are selling out really quickly, I would make sure that you grab yours. And if you already know what your summer shade is or your winter shade or your shade in general, I would definitely stock up. Cause like I said, it has not ever been this fully discounted ever, like any of the foundations. So with the kudos, which if you're new, the kudos is basically like every deal, it's a diff every month it's a different deal, it's different savings, all of that. So this month you get to choose your foundation, whether you want the new spray foundation, the stick foundation, liquid touch, BB flawless, pressed powder, you get to choose out of any of those, which is such a killer deal. And then you also get to choose your shade of concealer. And then you also get to cho choose, choose, I all of a sudden have a British accent. You also get to choose um, between the spray foundation, um, sorry, this, ugh, I can't talk the setting spray or the setting powder. So you get to choose between the, both of those two. Hello, how are you guys? Thank you, these are from 1110 Leather. I have a code with her, Rhea C10. Um, or you can catch me on Instagram as soon as I get off here and I'll give you guys a um, full outfit and jewelry details. But we'll go ahead and get started. I always like to kind of drag my feet in the beginning of these because this spray foundation is so fast that many people, I'm like finished with my foundation before I even pop on. So we're waiting just a minute. All right, so now we're gonna use the spray foundation, the shade Taffeta. That's kind of my like summery shade. I recently, we went to Mexico, so we got pretty good tan. And I'm gonna use the Kabuki brush by Unique. So I definitely highly recommend this brush with the spray foundation. This is gonna be under face tools um, or just under tools and then like face brushes but I love it because it's really, really soft and it's really, really flexible. Um, it's a little denser than the other Kabuki brushes that I have from other brands that are similar to this, so definitely make sure that you snag this one. It's made for the spray foundation. So always make sure that you shake it up and you're just going to spray it directly onto your Kabuki brush and then you'll just go immediately onto the face. And now I'm gonna slowly build up this coverage so you guys can really see how amazing the coverage is. Another thing that I really like about it is because it does come out of an aerosol can, it's really like cooling, so it feels really nice when you're applying it. And it dries really quickly, and it's smudge proof. So it's super, super light, but what I love too is that you put it on, not only does it look like nothing, but it feels like nothing. So we're just going to keep applying that all over with the Kabuki brush, and look how easy it just blends out too but I love how it completely hides my redness, evens out my skin tone, hides my blemishes, just so fast and so easy. Always make sure that you bring it down your neck too. One shade up from Taffeta would be the shade Eyelid. Um, the brush is the bomb, it does work so, so good. And it works with the stick foundation, that's right. It doesn't dry into a powder finish, no. All right, so you can do as many coats of this as you like. I like pretty full coverage, so I do like two or three, but it's all personal preference. Whether you just wanted it to even out your skin tone and kind of give you that really um, even complexion, one, maybe two coats would be fine. Otherwise, you can do super full coverage with it. It's completely buildable. So there, we'll pause for a second so you can see that difference. So see how this on my face? Where'd that redness go? completely evens out my skin tone. Isn't that amazing? Like dark circles, look at, you can totally see it there, obviously. And then here, you can see a little bit of it, but the concealer is really gonna step it up in that area. But is that not amazing coverage? So good. And look at how soft it looks on my skin. Doesn't look cakey, doesn't look powdery, doesn't look drying. It's so good, you guys. And it's good for all skin types, so whether you have Oily, oily skin or dry skin, mature skin, whatever, 
does not matter this foundation is incredible for all skin types and i think it's really really good especially if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles because typically a lot of liquid foundations or even bb creams because they still are that liquid texture have a tendency to settle in a lot of fine lines and wrinkles so if you struggle with that and you find that any foundation you're using is keep settling in those areas i highly recommend to grab the spray foundation and give that a try because of the way um that it goes on and it's spray it has a less ten a less likely tendency to like settle into those areas i'd also make sure that you are setting your makeup or i'm sorry setting your skin before you do your makeup so using the primer which also comes in the kudos and then also the setting spray highly recommend all of the above no, it's not drying at all. It's not drying, it's not pulling, it's not powdery, it's incredible. Yes, if you struggle with redness, the spray foundation is gonna be like your best friend. It's such good coverage. Such good coverage. And then if you're not sure what color you are, just message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a full recommendation. Just let me know what type of skin you have, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, does not matter, just message me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a, a perfect recommendation. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. This is by Unique. When you buy them, you get two, you get a large and a small. These are incredible for achieving really flawless looking skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my spray foundation and we're just gonna mist it just a tiny bit. And now we're gonna go over our entire face with this. And this is really going to pack the makeup into place and just place the foundation very intentionally on our skin. And as you see, I'm not going back for more product. I just wanted a tad bit just on that um, side that we're using. And like I said, we're just gonna bounce this off of our skin all over. If you have large pores, this is also really gonna help you because it's really gonna compact the makeup down into place rather than just kind of buffing it on top of the skin. All right, so now we're gonna go with our concealer and I'm using the shade Organza today. Always, always, always massage between your fingers like this to warm up that um, consistency. Helps to make it easier to blend it out and it also makes it a little bit thinner too. So you don't go in with like a glob of it. So I will focus that on my under eyes and then on any blemishes that I have. Just like that. Have my napkin, keep my knee right here and keep my... Oh, it sounds like a relaxing day. Thank you. I just hopped on what kind of foundation are you talking about? So, Anne, I'm using the Spray Foundation by Unique. It's available right here on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. You can get it on sale in this month's Kudos, or you can buy it by itself underneath foundations. It's so incredible. Whatever shade you are in your liquid touch, you're going to be a similar shade with the Spray Foundation. If you're not sure what shade to grab, just, again, message me a selfie facing a window, and I can give you a recommendation. All right, so we're just going to apply that all over, kind of blend that in using the smaller blending bud this time with by Unique. And these blending buds are made from a different material than your like everyday beauty blender you probably find at Walmart. They're made with a different texture, so they don't eat a lot of the product up and they apply it so incredibly smooth. All right, so now we're gonna take a dry beauty blender and we're gonna take our setting spray. I'm just gonna mist it on top of my beauty blender. And we're gonna take the setting powder by Unique and we're just going to apply this all over the, wherever we used our concealer, wherever we have like a lot of natural oils. I have natural really oily skin, so I set my makeup really well. So as the natural oils come through the skin, it doesn't push against my foundation, making it come off from look greasy or look heavy. It just simply absorbs any of that natural oil. This is a really good tip or trick for you if you um, work around food or if you work outside. So this is a really simple little solution to absorb any of that natural oil. The spray foundation is just simply called the Touch Spray Foundation. And it's gonna be available right here on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. And again, if you're not sure what color to grab, just message me. Hello from San Antonio. Good morning. Do the kudos is very much worth it. It really is worth it. Usually our kudos are within like 20% savings. We've never had one that's over $50, $50 of savings. That's never happened. And then, like I said, you get to choose between all of the foundation options, which is crazy. They've never done that either. Usually it's just like you get to choose between um, like shades wise, never product wise. 
Where do you get the Jupiter? Um, uh, I'll message me and I can give you the link for it or the person's information. If you have super dark circles, this spray foundation with the concealer is gonna be amazing for you, but I would also make sure that you are using um, a good skincare regimen. So make sure to message me, Paige, and I can give you a good skincare regimen that like completely healed my dark circles. I used to have them so bad that I would wear color correctors over them just to get them to look even simply okay underneath makeup. And it wasn't until I switched up my skincare routine that it really took it up a notch. Hello, hi guys. All right, so now I'm gonna take my pressed powder in the shade Scarlet. So this is a pressed powder, but I'm gonna be using it to set my under eye and also to brighten my under eye. So if you do have dry skin or mature skin and you're not wanting to use a setting powder, what you could do is you can use your pressed powder and just simply take a dry beauty blender and just push that right underneath the lower eye. That is going to act almost as like cement for your concealer. So it's not gonna move around and it's going to highlight your under eye as well, making it look tighter, brighter, more youthful. All right, so now that we are fully set, and if you're not sure which setting combo to grab, message me and I can tell you. Hello, hi guys. All right, and if you haven't done so yet, or if you feel that you have gotten something useful from this video, make sure that you click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner. It always helps me out so, so much. Or if you know someone that has a lot of acne scars or sunspots or dark circles and could utilize this amazing coverage, definitely tag them in the comments or go ahead and share this tutorial to their wall. All right, so now we're gonna take the same thing, the Mineral Touch Press Powder, but this is in the shade Satin. <laughs> and we're gonna take a big kabuki brush and we're just going to tap this all over our skin. Not only is this going to give us that airbrush full coverage finish, but it's also going to even out our skin tone and this pressed powder is so incredibly soft, you guys. It's not cakey, it's not heavy. They really nailed down the formula with this. And I really swear by applying it with a big brush like this, it applies it very evenly and very softly on your skin. So you're not kind of using too much product in, in certain areas on your skin as if you were using one of those little sponges. This really kind of spreads it out and it helps you that you don't use like too much. So we're just gonna tap this all over our skin and simply just even everything out. It's also helping to contain any of those natural oils that I was talking about. So if you have normal skin, you can skip all the setting and you can go right in with the pressed powder to set with. All right, so now that we are fully done with our coverage, such flawlessness, I love it. Hello, how come you use different shades of concealer powder foundation? So I use the different shades to equal out to my skin tone. So not everyone is gonna be one straight shade across the board. You might be multiple shades. So that's why it's important to make sure that you're being color matched um, by me. So I can give you like an accurate recommendation of which colors to use, which combo. And then I always use something a little bit brighter for my under eye as well. Is breast symmetrical? I know someone's actually a natural hair. I don't know. Uh, what this one is, but it'll say on the website. If you want the link to this, just message me. All right, so now to give our face back some like structure, we're gonna use the Beachfront Bronzer in the shade Hermosa. I'm gonna use a tapered blusher brush for this. And this one's by Unique as well. So it's called the Tapered Blusher Brush and it really, really, really does all the work for you for contouring. So we're gonna start at the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. And you're just going to run this brush back and forth like this in the hollow. And then we're going to swirl like that. All right, so same thing on this step. On this step, on this side. <laughs> I just realized I said that. And swirl. And this really just gives you a very natural contour. So over here, back and forth, and then turn and swirl, just like that. And then around the jawline. And this is really gonna give you that shape of your face that you lose when you're just using foundation. Instead of looking washed out, this really kind of pulls everything together. Because wherever you put contour or wherever you put something that's darker is gonna recede, and then wherever you put something that's highlighting is gonna pop forward. Paula, you'll have to message me. As soon as I get off all of, I know he's all over the place. Um, 
As soon as I get off, all the comments disappear. So I can't, I can't see if you've asked for the, any links. So make sure that you send me a message. You can either message me here on Facebook. If you tap on my name, a little window should pop down and you'll be able to see an option to send me a message. Otherwise, you can go to my website, reahopebeauty.com and scroll to the very bottom of that website and you'll be able to see an option to send me an email. So whichever is easier for you. So I use the pressed powder in the shade Scarlet to brighten up my under eye. But if you're not sure which pressed powder to grab to do that for yourself, just send me a message. Yes, yeah, send me, exactly. Thanks, Jody. All right, so now that we have our contour on, see how it really defines our face, brings in our cheekbones, makes our cheeks look plumper, makes our under eye look brighter, whiter, more youthful. And again, tapered blusher brush. If you don't have this guy yet, you definitely today need to grab it. It makes such a huge difference. All right, so now for blush, we're gonna use a really great one for an every single day look. So this one is in the shade Supple. So it's one of my favorite colors because like I just said, it's really good for every single day. So you're gonna smile and you're gonna pop this on the apple of your cheek, working up closer to your hairline and sticking closer to the bronzer. So just in this area right here and see how it just gives you that flush color so it doesn't look so washed out. And then always swirl in the mirror, smile. Swirling in the mirror or the cap of whatever product you're using really separates that pigment on the brush. So when you do go in with it, you're not getting like a chunk of color right in one spot that you'll have to blend out later. It's kind of separating it on the brush first so that when you do go on with it, it's all it's going on very evenly and very like softly. All right, so now that we've done that, so now here's a little tip or trick or a step. If you're new at doing your contour and you feel that you did it too large or too, it just went in an area that isn't right, what you can do is take that Mineral Touch pressed powder and then take like a tapered brush like this. So this is in the shade Scarlet, which is that light shade. You're gonna grab it on the brush and then you can simply just wish this, wish, wish this back and forth underneath and it will really kind of lighten it up and clean up the contour you can also do it through your sideburns if you got it in your hair it just like softens it up you could also take that pressed powder brush that you were using and go over it too whichever way you want to do it see how that really just kind of cleans it up make sure it sits right in that area that we want it to we want like two finger lengths away from our jawline and two finger lengths away from your mouth that's kind of where you can figure out where to put that contour at <laughs> Thank you. It really is easy if you're using these products, especially with the right tools. I know a lot of the times, sometimes I'll hear like, oh, it's not working. I'm doing the same thing you are, but I'm using this brush. Sometimes it really takes the exact same tools to make it happen. Supple is going to be very similar to Sisterly in the fact that you get that really pretty sheen, but it's not, it's more of like a peach tone instead of a pink. All right, so now for a highlight, I've been loving doing this lately. Taking the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly, popping that on your hand, look how pretty that gold color is. And then we're just going to push this on the apple, or I'm sorry, the, the bone, the cheekbone, and just kind of go around and just tap that in. And why we're not using a brush or a sponge to do this, because the warmth from your hand is really going to melt that product into your skin to make it look softer and more natural instead of like so harsh. But what this does is it really plays with that lighting and it really draws the attention to your bone structure. So if you have more of a rounder face, doing this would really bring the attention to your cheekbones. So once you've done that, now we're gonna just up the ante with this highlight. We're gonna take the same product, the Touch of the Mood Luminizer in the shade Lustrous. And again, this is gonna be like a really pretty like bronzy, bronzy glow. And just any fluffy brush for this step would do. And you're just going to pop this on the bridge and tip of your nose. And then I put it right on top of where we put that stick. See how pretty that is? See how it just draws the, the glow there? So gorgeous. Really takes your makeup up a notch. So if you've been feeling like your makeup looks dull or just kind of looks boring to you, and you are balling on a budget, grabbing a luminizer or a highlight like this really kind of gives you that feel that you've done something different with your skin, but without breaking the bank. Amy, send me a message and I can give you the link to the Kabuki brush. 
No, I naturally have really oily skin, um, but you can um, message me and I give you a recommendation for dry skin. But the spray foundation, the stick foundation, and the BB Flawless are all really good options for dry skin. I would say the spray foundation would probably be your best bet, um, but message me and we can kind of figure out what combination would be perfect for you. Christy, yes, send me a message and I can give you the full product list, but I'll also be posting it in the comments after I get off. So if you haven't done so, I know a lot of people are like silent watchers, uh, make sure that you comment something, a hi, a hello, a heart, or whatever in the comments. That way, when I do get off, um, Facebook will alert you that I've commented on the live video. It'll be like, Rhea commented on her video. That way you'll know that's the product list. So make sure that you do that if you haven't done so already. And then if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that share button in your bottom left hand corner. Okay, so now for brows, we're gonna throw these guys on and I'm gonna show you why it's so important to do your brows. My favorite product to do them with is this pencil right here. This is the brow pencil in the shade medium. And it makes for the easiest application of brows ever. And I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so here I've clearly done my brow. This side I haven't. See how this side makes it look like I have so much more room for eyeshadow versus this side? Isn't that amazing? So much more room, looks so much more cleaner, sharper. The side looks a little bit messy. Kind of see all, all those sparse areas versus that side. Isn't that great? So if you have more fitted eyes or squintier eyes, this is a really good little tip or trick for you to make your eyes appear that much larger. And then on this side, and I simply just follow the natural shape and direction of my already brows. So I start at the, the top, go to the arch, and then following my tear duct all the way up, that's kind of where I know where to like cap off the brow. Just like that. And even if your brows don't have an arch, just follow the natural shape of them. Yeah, the spray foundation's so good. And then another little tip too, is if you take the spoolie side of this and you comb through your brow, it'll lighten it up. So if you want something a little more natural, draw them on just like that and then take that spoolie side and then just comb through them a few times, it'll lighten them up. Oh, it's just the lighting. I know, the lighting is like so yellow today. I don't know why. Probably just from like where the sun's hitting or maybe my shirt, I don't know. That's better, it's probably the shirt. Okay, so now that we've done the brows, now let's do eyeshadow. So I'm actually gonna do this guy right here. This is the Addiction Palette 6. So it's our brand new palette, it is in stock. It was out of stock for forever and now it's fully back. And it's such a good every single day palette. It gets you like all of the colors, like all of the colors you wish came in a palette come in this palette. So you get your metallic like champagne, you get your brown, you get like your taupey dark brown, you have like these pinks and purples, you have one that's very similar to fervent, which is really pretty, and then you get this one, it's like a matte, um, like a matte tan, which is really great for cleaning everything up, but that's so pretty. And I love that it comes in just this like one easy to go, comes with that mirror for applicating, but such a good palette. If you're looking for like a really good Christmas gift, these are so perfect, especially Addiction Palette 6 or Addiction Palette 1. Those would go with everyone's eye colors. So even if you're not sure like, oh, what palette should I get for her? This is like the best option. I have red hair, what color do you prefer? Um, for you, Donna, I would do the light um, brow pencil. Oh yeah, I'm so glad you love your cleanser. I know, aren't these colors really pretty? So gorgeous. All right, so now we're gonna take some brushes. So I'm gonna take the deluxe brush, the fluffy crease brush, and I'm gonna take this liner brush. And I might use this one too, we'll see. All right, so first things first is we're going to prep our eye for the shadow. So I'm gonna take this color, which is called Calm. It's just this um, like white, like tan matte color. So we're gonna use that all over. 
and just act as our base. And what I also love about these two is that these eyeshadows all have primer infused in them, so they really help to kind of hold everything in a place throughout the day. Two favorite ones. Have it? Yeah, it is so versatile. I know, I so agree. All right, so now we're gonna take this color right here, which is called Enthralled. It's just this like light brown. And we're gonna take that on the fluffy crease brush. Always tap on the product. And then super important for me, I always swirl in the mirror and tap off. Kind of helps to lessen how much product is going on. I would rather sit here and build it on than put on too much and have to blend it out, you know? So I'll just bounce from eye to eye, grabbing this color, swirl in the cap until I like how deep or how dark the product looks. So we're gonna use this kind of as our base too. And then I always say this in my tutorials when I'm doing eyeshadow, but you wanna think rainbow zigzag. So rainbow in the crease and then zigzag through the eye. And I really swear this brush is the brush to get if you feel like you stink at eyeshadow or it's hard for you, or you just are trying to get it to blend really well, the fluffy crease brush makes it so incredibly easy. So dust that on. And then like I said, everything I'm using is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And then if you're not sure what color to get or what palette or anything, if you have any questions on color matching or skincare, you name it, feel free to send me a message. All right, so now that we have this color, which was enthralled all over the lid, now we're gonna take this color right here, which is very similar to the shade Fervent. It's kind of like this dark plum, and that's called the shade Blazing. And we're gonna take that on the same exact brush, and again, always swirl on, tap off, and then with a very light hand, we're just going to put this over that color, but we're not gonna go as low with it or as deep pretty much just gonna act as our crease color. And I always apply all the way down because I really feel that helps to make it not look so harsh, like you have like a really bad, or not really bad, but like a really intense line there. Yay, hello. Thank you, Carla. You want to sock off? Yay, I'm so excited. If you guys haven't done so yet, make sure that you click that share button in your bottom left-hand corner or you can invite your friends to watch with you. You could tag them in the comments. All right, so now we are just going to slowly start blending this color up and out, just like this. And I really like how it gives you that kind of subtle, this white shirt is really making the colors look different, but it gives you that really pretty plum. Okay, so now that we've done those colors, now I'm gonna switch up the brushes. I'm gonna grab this brush right here, which is called the Deluxe Brush. And I'm gonna use this color right here, which is called Delightful. It's like this metallic purpley pink. It's really, really pretty. So we're gonna snag that on top of the Deluxe Brush. Instead of swirling in the cap, we're not going to. We're pushing this on, and then we're pushing it on our lid. So no swiping, we're pushing. Push, 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 push. Pushing it on rather than swiping or sweeping it on is gonna lessen the fallout from it. And the Deluxe Brush really does a great job at applying it very intentionally. All right, so same thing over here. Push, 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 push. And then we'll slowly build that up. Isn't this pretty? I love this color. Awesome. Hi and welcome. This is called the Addiction Palette 6. And it's available on my website right below, rayahopebeauty.com. And we also have Addiction Palettes 1 through 5, which are really gorgeous as well. But these seriously make for the best Christmas presents. Can even grab a few of the eyeshadow brushes to include with your present. That would make really cute. Like do like two little brushes on each side of the palette as your present. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so now we're gonna go back in with that fluffy crease brush, and we're gonna take that original color enthralled one more time. 
And we are simply going to dust this over the crease, just very, very lightly. Kind of blend everything together. Just like that. Another brush that I really highly recommend is this guy right here. It's called the blending brush. I'm not gonna even put anything on it, but it just is the perfect size brush for blending. It's the perfect amount of tapered fluffiness, all the things. So pretty. Okay, so now that we are done with that, I'm gonna put the eyeliner on and then I'm gonna do the under, under eye for eyeshadow. All right, so I'm gonna do the eyeliner in Perfect, which is just like our black. But I love this eyeliner because it actually stays on where you put it. Okay. And the eyes, blech. I can't speak today. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> the eyeliner sharpener can also sharpen your lip liners, but I really highly recommend it. It's only seven bucks, but it sharpens your pencils so well, like without jacking them up. It's so good. Okay, so with the pencil, we're just gonna put this on the actual waterline, which is like that line behind your eyeshadow or behind your eyelashes. I'm telling you, these brushes really, really make it easy. Yeah, it's a great birthday present, good call. All right, so now we're gonna take this brush right here, which is by Morphe, it's a 432. It's just like a liner brush. And we're gonna take that color blazing, which was that really pretty dark plum. And we are going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. And it's just gonna give us that like finished eyeshadow look. Just gonna bring it all together. Bring it on home. And you can go as bold with this underneath your eyes you'd like. I really think the bolder you go though, the more um, kind of finished or like smoky the look will look. But it's all personal preference. And then I take it all the way to the tear duct very lightly. I kind of take like that line and make it smaller as we get closer. So I'll go kind of bolder out this way and then bring it a little bit tighter in. Just like that. All right, so now that we've done that, that's a really good tip or trick too for doing it on your bottom lash. That way you don't have to do mascara down below. So I personally use our Esteem Lash Serum every single night before bed. I use it on my eyebrows and my lashes, but I've been using it so long that my lashes have gotten so incredibly long that the bottoms actually touch my face. So any mascara leaves marks down here. So I decided I'm gonna start doing eyeshadow down there um, in place of it. The only sharpener that actually works. I totally agree with you. Catherine, I would try to get like a really um, like dense liner brush. You can also even try, we have this brush called the Brow Artist Brush and it also has a flat end like this. I would even try using that. Maybe like the smaller, um, the more like control over it you'll feel. All right, so now let's set our makeup and then we're gonna do our mascara and our lips. And this is a little trick that I like to do before my mascara and before my lipstick is setting my makeup beforehand. So setting your makeup is really important. It takes away that makeupy look, the powdery look. It just makes everything look super flawless throughout the day. It also holds on to everything. Um, but it also is prepping and priming your lips and your lashes for the product. So instead of spraying it after you've finished with your mascara and making it a little more wet, you're kind of skipping that and making it wet in the beginning so it dries even faster. So now I'm using the Lash Primer and this is one of my favorite brand new things that we've come out with. So it actually has a property in it that helps to curl your lashes, which is super rad. Um, but it also hydrates your lashes so it's making them longer 
and stronger. And you'll just apply that first, going from the base of the lash all the way up. And then if you have short stubby lashes and you've been wanting to have them grow, I would definitely highly recommend to grab, there's this set called the 4D Lash Trio. It's underneath lashes on my website. And you, it comes with the lash primer, the 4D mascara, and the Esteem Lash Serum. And it comes at, I think it's 20% off. It's already listed at the discounted price but might as well get all three things at a discount. Shopping smart. All right, so for the 4D, I go from the base of the lash all the way up, and then I kind of work in like different section of, of my eyelashes. For example, I always start here in the middle, and then I'll focus like on the outer lashes, and then the inner lashes. And then after I've done that, then I go along the back side of the tips and then all over. And I kind of like blink onto the wand. I find that that helps. Kind of like makes your lashes go down harder and faster on it. And you could do as many coats of this as you want. But isn't that amazing? Such good mascara, it's crazy. Every time, every time I'm amazed. All right, so now I'm gonna do this little step. I haven't done this live in a really long time. So this is our lip exfoliator. This was part of the Black Friday deals last year. It smells like peppermint, it smells so good. And this is like one of my favorite lip exfoliators. One, cause it smells good. but I love the ingredients in it. It's almost like a sugar scrub. So I usually will use that and then wipe it off before I go in with my lipstick. It's really great if you have really dry lips. Kind of brings the blood to your lips also. So it helps them look a little more plump as well. But during the winter, my lips get so dry. And that is like, this is gold, <laughs> gold. And this is also under lip care on my website. So you can find it there. All right, so now for today's lip look, we're gonna do something a little different. And I love this for the fall. Um, it's a different combo. I don't think I've ever used this live actually. So what we're gonna start with is the lip liner in the shade Plush. I love these lip liners. They not only make your lips look more plump, but they help to keep the lipstick in a place so it's less likely to bleed. Um, and it helps to hold the lipstick in a place all day. So these are smudge proof. So if you were to like eat or drink anything and your lipstick comes off, these are gonna stay put. So it's another really important reason to always make sure that you're lining your lips. No, I don't let it dry really, Tara. I just like put it on and then I put the mascara right on top of that. Yes, I use the primer beforehand. Um, and not only does it help to curl your lashes, but it hydrates them and also gives you more length and volume. So the 4D does have fibers infused in it. So it actually has dual bristles. So the smaller bristles have the fibers and then the longer bristles have the gel, but there's no fallout with the fibers. So it's kind of like it's the best, best of all worlds. Okay. So now we're going to use the lip liner in plush. And we're going to line our lips with this. One of my favorite lip colors for sure. Kind of like this mauve like a mauve nude with brown undertones. Okay. Then once we've done that, now we're gonna go in with the Crush Powder Lipstick. Who's seen these in action before? They're the coolest formula ever. They're really kind of like a unique formula. So at first you're like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. But they are so fun. They're matte, they're creamy, they're smudge proof. They're so good. So this is the color, where's the color? Compatible. It's gonna be this like brownie nude. 
So we're gonna take it on there and you start in the center of your lip. Take it all the way to the lip liner. And then go back in. So it goes, it's powder, but it dries into like a, like a creamy finish. It's so, so cool. So you start here and you see that? Look how like powdery it is. And then all the way to the lip liner. And I love the applicator. See how it's kind of bent like that? It really helps to kind of get really precise application of it. Okay. Now, once we've done that, I'm gonna let it dry for just a split socket. And then we're gonna go in with a lipstick color. Yay, hello. You're having a hard time with your eyebrows. I would definitely make sure that you have the uh, brow pencil. Hi, Jenny. I know, isn't this color fun? Such like a good fall color. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the liquid, not the liquid, the Obulence lipstick in the shade Affluent. So as you see, it's more of a mauve nude, but paired together. Adds almost like a pink undertone to it. How pretty. So good for fall. And there we have, there's the makeup look. Good fall eyeshadow look too, it's pretty. So yeah, that was it. Um, if you guys have any questions or you need to be color matched or you have any questions, again, <laughs> you can always message me. Um, but if you haven't been color matched yet, definitely send me a selfie facing window before all the good colors go out. Because like I said, the spray foundation, you can get on sale in this month's kudos. Um, I would also make sure that you check under the um, sets and collections tab on the website because there's some really, really good deals under there. But these make for the perfect Christmas present. So start thinking about the ladies in your life. And if you need me to color match them or give you a recommendation for what colors to grab them, just let me know. I'm gonna put the full product list here in the comments and then I will be popping back on in just a few minutes to do a hair tutorial. Um, we're gonna do just like a really chic looking hairstyle today using some really pretty pins. So um, make sure that you turn on the post notifications. So if you turn on these, or if you click the three little dots up here, you can see a little tab that says turn on live notifications. Do that um, so that way you don't miss out on any future lives. So I hope you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day and message me. So I would definitely use the uh, lip exfoliator, yes. And then I would definitely make sure that you pick up some lip liners, Janice, because those make like a really big difference on how your lipstick appears on your lips. Do you line, yes, I line like completely around following the natural shape of it. And then when I take my lipstick, I take it all the way to the lip liner and overlap it just ever so slightly. But message me if you guys need any other help and I'll see you soon, bye.